What are you doing here? I'm here to stop you from helping all those sleep-deprived overworked students with math anxiety pass their tests. Why? What do you have against the students? I want them to fail, be sad, and cry like little babies. Never succeed, move back in with their parents. The list goes on and on. You're the meanest thing to ever walk the earth. Why thank you. I try my best. The students are already going through enough. Math anxiety is a serious and very common problem. It can cause nervousness, sweating, rapid heart beating, nausea, forgetfulness, and in some cases fainting and hospitalization. Are you sure they are suffering from math anxiety and not a hangover? Yes, I'm sure. Math anxiety occurs when taking a math test or doing something related to it. And it's usually brought on by fear of failing or frustration. Many people suffer from it because they think math's too hard and that it is a language they'll never understand or use. So whenever it's presented to them, their bodies start to react in a negative way because of their fear. Ha ha ha. That's funny. No, it's not. Some students are afraid of math because of bad experiences that they had with it. Therefore, they develop math phobia. Oh, that sounds awful. What? It does. Listen, students. Being good at math is not a gene that some people get and others don't. I understand that math is hard, but it shouldn't be feared, because you already know it and use it every day. You count money. You memorize the numbers on your cell phone in order to text your friends. You measure ingredients when you cook. You use it when you do your banking. You even use math when you're shopping. If any of you believe that you may suffer from math anxiety, I'm here to tell you that there's hope. First you need to admit that you have a problem fully understanding math. This is starting to sound like an AA meeting. Second, you need to have a positive attitude when it comes to learning it. Don't be afraid to ask for help from your parents, a friend, a family member, a teacher or even a tutor. Taking notes in class and practicing them on a daily basis also helps. You could even join a study group. The possibilities are endless and they can all benefit you. Just stick to it. Don't worry about what other people think and never give up. Look, you don't need all that other kind of math. All you need is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. They'll be set. That's not true. Sure, those four types of math are the foundation, but what about when the students face a problem that has all four? Or that have weird looking signs in them? Well, that's just stupid. All you have to do is not do problems like that. Well, some of the students will face problems that have to do with measuring the distance of sound or light. They'll have to solve problems for certain numbers, too. That's why formulas like PEMDAS were created to help solve problematic equations that a lot of people deal with on a daily basis. You know, this math stuff is actually starting to make sense. I think I to suffer from math stress. Or anxiety. They're both the same thing. But why do you think you suffer from it? Well, I have a problem that I can't solve. And I've been trying for centuries. What is it? If X is me. And Y is you. How do I get rid of Y? You can't get rid of Y because we're not like terms. But you can get rid of yourself though. How can I do that? Go back to where you came from. Meanie. Bye students. Study hard, do well on your tests, and show Alex who's boss.